Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden here again from Real Life Trading Australia. What a day in the markets. Wow, there were some voracious bulls out there just hungry for some gains. Uh, the SPY gapping up, beautiful gap and go from yesterday, gapping up above or at, basically to the high of last week's um, bearish candle or last week's resistance. So there was a small retest if you did want to play it and a lot of real life traders did play this in the real life trading um, morning room. If you take a look at the five minute bearish high wave candle entry stop to uh, thanks for coming. Um, personally, I took the trade on the E-minis um, and here is how I played it. Same, pretty much the same trade. Uh, we had the bearish high wave candle entry stop and then there was my 2R. Um, so E-minis looking higher and I'm, I'm happy to take a wager guys on this, but we did speak about this, this uh, flag pattern happening, this bullish flag uh, occurring last week and we are going to go higher. So personally, I think this is going to, we're going to be creating new all time highs probably by before we even hit July. So most likely in the next couple of weeks, I do expect this market to start creating some new highs and bring on 300 on the SPY. I'm excited guys. Super excited. Here's the Dow Jones DIA. Um, well done, Jeremy posting a nice, beautiful trade here with his, um, entry stop you know, the two R trade, well done, mate. Absolutely incredible. Guys, if you aren't in the, if you aren't in the morning room or the afternoon room, there is a lot of money that you're missing out on right now. Um, actually here's one. Just want to give a shout out to, uh, my good friend, Adam posting his first two R gain on Netflix after joining the swing trading floor. This bearish high wave candle at support. He had his entry with a stop below here and then to our, to our target up here and just absolutely crushed it to our in two days. That is amazing. Well done, Adam. Uh, Square looking absolutely amazing here. We did run into the 100 and 200 simple moving average. And we did speak about this last week saying that most likely we would start to slow down here from here, guys. Um, I'd be just looking to buy the dip. If you take a look on the hourly and we just bring up the short term moving averages, if you can get, if you can get in off the 50, which is around, you know, 70, probably $71, that would be a nice dip buying opportunity. Obviously look to buy as low as possible, but um, square, as long as the markets keep moving higher, Square will most likely do the same thing as well. If we do pull back a little bit further, uh, this 10 day simple move, uh, the 10 EMA will keep this stock up and yeah, most likely only come down to about 70, 50 at the lowest at this point. Um, but Square looking absolutely glorious. Here's MU. Oh, I'm very super happy about this today um, got into some long-term calls down here uh, on this candle right here with an entry and a stop below here so already up and are holding these testing my holding muscle at the moment and um, seeing how long I can hold this for but MU we've been speaking about this for quite some time. I know earnings is just around the corner. Happy to hold over earnings. Great company. And I did buy at a low, so I'm not, my calls are expiring in three months. So I'm not overly worried about this thing, having a small pullback if we do get it, but MU looking absolutely amazing. I know a lot of people, a lot of real life traders are in MU bullish and uh, keep holding. Here's WDC also in some long-term calls got into uh, a got into my position on this day right here after we posted this glorious volume, this, this glorious volume right here, nice bullish candle with volume got into some long-term calls. And if you just take a look at the RSI guys, I'm not sure if 
there's many traders out there. Well, I know there's a lot of traders out there that use the RSI, but this was a really nice divergence, um, divergence pattern right here. So we are looking to go high here if you like the, those indicators. So um, if you're looking for quote unquote confirmation, that's probably it. <laughs> Here's IQ. Um, pretty much safe to say, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna call the bottom on this one. Beautiful volume today. Uh, yeah, beautiful volume today. And we did run into the 20 and we did find a little bit of resistance, but uh, I mean, once again, let's take a look at the RSI and we are creating some nice divergence here as well, guys. So we've got the higher high, we've got the higher lows and we've got the, oh, sorry, we've got the, we've got the, um, the lower, lower lows. And then we've also got the higher lows here. So IQ looking absolutely amazing here for a long, if you're looking for a long-term buy and hold stock. Um, if you just take a look at the weekly, like we are forming, we are forming a beautiful one white soldier, one white soldier candle. And just two weeks ago, we had a glorious hammer of Thor here. Um, so from here, guys, just be bullish on IQ. Um, it is a it is a buy low, sell high location. So if you're looking to if you're looking to own some shares in IQ, now is a great time to get in. Here's AMD. I want to give a shout out to Mikey, just crushing MU, uh, crushing AMD today. Here's how you would have played it. I mean, if you didn't, if you didn't see, if you didn't. If you didn't see this going bullish, we did gap up after pretty much everyone was bearish for the last half for the last half of the day uh, yesterday. So pretty much everyone here is trapped. Everyone that was holding bearish positions is trapped. So as you can see, those those bears did get squeezed out. And if you take a look, this this particular pattern right here is a tweezer bottom pattern. They both have the exact same lows. So an entry above here, stop here, there's two uh, all day. Um, so well done, Mikey, for getting two R on AMD. And he also did play Tesla. I think in total today, he played Tesla, AMD and the SPY. And he grossed, uh, sorry, he netted 5.2 R. So absolutely amazing trade, looking glorious. Um, Tesla, we did gap up and we did trade higher and fade, um, but most likely this is just gonna be a buy the dip opportunity here on Tesla. So well done to all the real life traders who did make money on AMD and Tesla, just absolutely amazing. Beyond Meat. Now, the one that got away, I was looking to buy puts on this thing at open and I completely forgot. I seen that it was gapping up to 200 and uh, closed at 170. So that would have been an absolutely amazing gain. Um, pretty much, if you take a look at the five minute, if you, if, you, if you couldn't get in straight away at open with puts, you could have got in with the retest. A nice, nice little retest, and then trade lower, entry, stop, and then basically you would have made made money on on Beyond Meat bearish um, on the daily. I mean, this is getting quite comical. <laughs> Hitting two hundred, we are all the shorts are getting squeezed. They they did get squeezed out, but now all those people that bought down here are are, are, are definitely profitable. So. Beyond meat, not sure how high it's going to go, but 200 was definitely a target to probably start selling off. Um, but beyond meat, just don't be buying long here, guys. Just keep shorting it or buying puts, mitigate that risk. Okay, so um, beyond meat, just making new highs again. Awesome. Let's take a look at the Aussie markets. All odds. Guys, we are getting close to the all-time high. We have not been here for so long, um, basically back since the 2008 crash. Um, so all-time highs, markets are looking bullish um, and we will most likely break out of this and retest and go higher. So I did speak about this last week, um, saying that, you know, 
if this was a nice little flag, this is this is going to be a great uh, a great move higher, a great push higher, and we are getting that today. So the all lords looking bullish. Here's BHP. Let's take a look at all the miners. Uh, just another bullish gap and go here. Actually, I think this is oh that's on that's on the New York Stock Exchange. So BHP. Um, here we go. Beautiful gap and go and just some people taking profits here, guys. Um, we've been speaking about BHP for a long time. Um, that This was the, the, the time to start buying and accumulating some shares. So if you did get in long here, just look to lock in some gains because we are reaching all-time highs. And if we take a look at the weekly chart, I mean... Oh, if you can test your holding muscle, I mean, you could probably hold until about 44. Um, but BHP is definitely looking bullish along with a lot of the other miners. Here's FMG, another one just losing a little bit of steam here after this beautiful push higher um, over the last six months or so. So uh, FMG, look to lock in some gains. There is still a little bit of upside, uh, but definitely definitely um looking amazing and here's rio same thing guys same thing this is a beautiful uh this is a beautiful uh five wave count so you see we've got the the one two three four five um on elliott wave if we take a look at the monthly chart we are coming up into this resistance level so i do expect most of these miners to start slowing down now um, over the next probably few weeks, few weeks to months, and then they'll most likely chop around for a little bit, and then we'll most likely just see how see how the see how the trends are going, see if we're going to break down and look to retest and go higher, or break out and go um, sorry break down and go lower, or break out and go higher. So we'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled on Rio. FMG and BHP over the next coming weeks and months. Um, but if you're in shares, definitely look to lock in some gains or sell some premium. Here's the banks, CBA on the daily, gapping up again. And yeah, I mean, we're coming up to a resistance level right now at around 82.60. And then the next target above that will be about 80, 85. So CBA looking really, really great. It is going to be a little bit slow here um, as we have had a lot of bullishness over the last few months and there will be a lot of people starting to lock in some gains. So CBA definitely look to buy the dip if you aren't in already, but um, CBA looking glorious. Here's ANZ not posting as much bullishness as CBA. We are still at this resistance level and we can't, we are having a little bit of trouble breaking it and staying higher. If you just go into, if I have a look at the short-term moving averages, we are bouncing off. We did bounce off the 20 just um, yesterday. So if you did get to buy the dip, well done. And let's take a look at Newcrest Mining. So Newcrest just going absolute bananas at the moment with, with gold moving higher. If you take a look at the weekly chart, we are cruising. We are absolutely cruising here. So we have had a one, two, three, four. We are in wave five right now. Um, so most likely we will start slowing down if gold starts to consolidate at this price level. Um, but I remember working for Newcrest back here and knowing absolutely nothing at the stock, nothing about the stock market. So buying at nine dollars, I do remember a lot of people at work um, talking about talking about the share market back here, but oh man, if I, if only I knew, <laughs> if only I knew what I knew now, hindsight is a wonderful thing. Um, but Newcrest looking awesome. Just keep holding guys. Uh, here's evolution mining new all time highs just this week. So wow. Where to go from here? I mean, Look to lock in some gains, absolutely. Uh, but as as gold is kind of consolidating here, guys, definitely, yeah, definitely look to lock in some gains here um, with with 
Newcrest and Evolution Mining. They could chop around and go back down. I mean, so could gold. But if you look at the daily chart, we're just breaking above the we're breaking above this high, and we are still looking quite bullish. So from here, guys, gold is looking bullish to neutral at the moment, and we are at a resistance level. So it's funny that I'm saying that, but we are definitely looking bullish to neutral. Um, so here's crude oil. Crude oil, we are forming an amazing double bottom here right now, and we have finally closed above the 10 EMA. So from here, if you're, if you're not in already, look to buy the dip off the 10 EMA and uh, look to take this thing higher. We might, we might chop around here for a little bit, um, but most likely crude will go higher. And let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. So we spoke about, we've been speaking about this for a while. Um, anyone who is a Forex trader who took this short and took out their profits back here at the lows, well done to you guys. Um, I commend you. That is absolutely amazing. Looking for another opportunity now. Um, here's the GBP on JB, GBP, JPY and the Japanese yen. We are at a weekly support level. This 13607 level is a great, great, uh, a great level to go long. We have had a really, really nice pullback as you can see. So um, from here, I'm going to be looking at a long here. Most likely have an entry above here with a stop below here. Um, we'll just see how we see how we chop around over the next couple of days. But keep your eyes peeled on GBP, JB, JB, JPY. Um, guys, if you're not in real life trading, you are definitely missing out on a lot of gains. But if you would like to see what we're all about, um, lock these dates in July 22nd to July 26th. We are having a free week in both the day trading room and the swing trading room. So if you want to see what we're all about and maybe even join us and, you know, maybe make some money that week, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, but check out the community, trial it, keep those dates locked in. I'll put the links in the description below if you want to sign up or register for those free weeks, but I would, I would I'd love to see you all there. So um, basically that's pretty much it for, I've got for you guys. Uh, I will be back again on Thursday with another real life stock review. And until then, love life, live life and trade it. I'll see you soon.